Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running Pi-hole on Windows using WSL. To begin, launch PowerShell as administrator. Then we'll run commands to enable the WSL and Virtual Machine Platform Windows features. When prompted, type Y to reboot the host for the feature installs to complete. Once the reboot completes, log back in and launch PowerShell as administrator to continue with the steps. Next, we'll enable the Virtual Machine Platform feature now that it's installed. Set WSL to version 2. Then we'll download the kernel update for WSL and install it. Click Next, then Finish to install the kernel update. Next, we'll download the Pi-hole for WSL installation script from GitHub. Navigate to your downloads directory, then right-click the downloaded command file and run it as administrator. When prompted, press Enter to accept the default installation directory. Then wait a few minutes as the script downloads a Linux distribution and the Pi-hole application. When prompted, enter and confirm an admin password for Pi-hole. Once the installation completes, press any key and a web browser will open to the Pi-hole admin interface. Log in using the password we just set. Now that we have Pi-hole installed, we need to point our network interface to use Pi-hole as the DNS server. The best way to do this is to set the DHCP DNS server on your router to the Pi-hole IP address. This process varies from router to router. In this example, I'll set the DNS server directly on the Windows network interface. Once the network interface is using Pi-hole for its DNS lookups, ads will begin to be blocked. Now I'll navigate to some ad-heavy web pages, and we'll see Pi-hole will begin blocking ads. We now have Pi-hole, network-wide ad blocking, running on Windows via WSL.